An unofficial gospel? You'd be more likely to find this kind of book at the Vatican. Nothing special. The library at Buckingham has three. The Gospel According to Judas, or How to Crucify Jesus as Part of God's Plan. You do realize that the contents of this book could undermine the very foundations of Christianity. One more reason to leave it in the secret room of a lost manor on a private island. Do you realize how important this book is? Of course, but what I really want to know is how did it come into Mortimer's possession? I was thinking the same thing about all the paintings and sculptures in the manor. Same reason as uh, Adam, uh, uh, Adam devouring his son. He's just, he's a time traveler, apparently. He has a TARDIS. I bet you've read them cover to cover. Naturally. Really? I'm curious. Tell me, what part stood out the most to you? The passage where Mary says to Joseph, Hey, you, shut up. In other words, you haven't even opened one. Man, you're on to her. She's gonna run, she's gonna run scared now. Hey, Mortimer is the author of this work. He talks about his passion for art. Hey, a Russian ruble. I wonder what it'd be worth today. Uh, hello, abomination monster. Goodbye. Guess what I found? The Holy Grail. Older than that. A piece of Noah's Ark. Not that old. This could go on for hours. Just tell me. Caesar's laurel wreath. The workmanship on this crown is amazing. The finesse of the gold laurel leaves is beautiful. A crown worthy of an emperor. I'd stake my life that it's a genuine article. I can just see Mortimer dressed in a toga, wearing a laurel wreath, strutting around his manor all day long. You have a curious idea of Mortimer. Why? He's eccentric, like all the English are, isn't he? Well, if Peru stands for French grace, then if I were you, I wouldn't be making that sort of remark. Why don't you have any accent? Other characters have accents. Why don't you have an accent? You're gonna be making fun of the English. Why don't you have, like, your French accent to actually sell the deal? Oh, looks like a pamphlet on different political regimes, written by Mortimer himself. Got a few of those now, don't we? These items. They don't go there? Did they go in here somewhere? Are there more to more items hiding in here? Thoughts with on men in society. William Alexander Mortimer. Manipulation, psychology, and politics. Yes. Gimme. Gonna need a lot of pieces, though. You should see the sword, Emily. It's magnificent. I'm busy. Describe it to me. You're so busy that you can split your attention instead of just walking over here for a second? Brass quillens and knobs. A beautiful cruciform line. Judging by the wear and the technique used to forge it, this sword dates back to the Crusades, and it must have belonged to a wealthy knight. There's a date. MCXC. 1190. That's right. Forge for the Crusades. This weapon is typically French, quite old, undoubtedly goes back to the Crusades. If it is a true Damask sword, it's worth more than a kingdom. Oh, did I just, have I entered drug land? Oh shit. I think this is Excalibur, King Arthur's sword. I've always dreamt of drawing it from the stone. How sweet, you're still clinging to your boyhood dreams. When you finished playing, maybe you can help me search the place? I may have panicked a little bit when I knew that I was in time limit mode. 
Right, this makes it so I can't see the time limits, if I remember correctly. Where does it show up? I don't remember where it's listed, besides the fact that it shows up there, generally. Uh, if I want to get rid of negative effects... Golden Elixir... There we go. Yeah, the time limit went away. Crap. Not Excalibur's wrong. Uh, it's not even a real, is it? <laughs> Shit. Uh, good. Is Joan of Arc accurate? Is it formed for the Crusades? It can't be. It would be Genghis Khan. Here's something interesting. A manor in Maine. Hundreds of acres of land in Catalonia. Properties in Shanghai. Incredible. Some of these deeds are over 600 years old, and all signed by the hand of Mortimer. I wonder if that's what inspired my mother's attention. How come all these documents have Mortimer's signature on them? Do you think all these properties really belong to him? My eyes are up here. See those fine scratches around the words? Yes, and? The ink barely spreads on the paper. It spreads exactly the same way on the signature. The deed was written using the same ink. If it is a fake, then it's a professional job. Several people have played the part of Mortimer, a part that has been passed down from generation to generation. Different men, but with one sole identity. An intriguing hypothesis, and yet less twisted than some of my previous cases. At last, you finally agree with me about something. These documents are intriguing, but do you really think that's what attracted your mother's attention here? And how do you know my mother was interested in this room? I didn't know, I just supposed she was. And you just confirmed it. So, do you think she found what she came for? I don't know. She was obsessed with Mortimer and... I must confess, these property deeds are troubling. If that's the case, why would she have left them? Once again, I don't know. We'll have to ask her when we find her. And what's your take? Look at our character falling for the same persuasion tactics that he himself employs. Mortimer's collection is unique, isn't it? That's an understatement. No doubt he has a major passion for history and fine art. Or getting gifts. If each time Mortimer does someone a favor, they reward him with a priceless gift, that means he must have helped nearly everybody in the world. I wonder why my mother didn't make it clear what she was interested in here. She didn't have time to write it down, or maybe she wasn't sure of what she was looking for. Or she wanted to protect her discoveries. It's disturbing. You'll just have to search the rest of the room. Maybe you'll find something. Also, let's grab this real quick before I forget. Amber. Amber. Oh my goodness, we're halfway to another point already. How is this happening? Oh, look, a button. What is that you found? A cameo pendant. What's going on? Nothing. For crying out loud, Emily, you lunged for that jewel like your life depended on it. Tell me what this is about. No. We just met, Louis. I like you, but I can't just suddenly open myself up like a book to you. Listen, Emily. It seems pretty obvious to me that you haven't come here for the sole purpose of sampling Mortimer's cellar. Stop all the clever evasions and just trust me. And why the hell should I place my trust in you, Louis? How does your dress stay on? <laughs> uh, let's review really quick. She's weak to psychology. Vulnerability to psychology. Make, the, make it free while we're at it. When are you going to understand that I just want to help you? What do you expect? That I'll fall into your arms and say yes to everything you want? What are you talking about? I'm only asking you to trust me a little. If only on principle, as a member of the Golden Order, for example. I'll admit you are fairly reliable. That's it? I was expecting more. Well, I'm prepared to trust you when it comes to choosing a French cheese. But I've nothing to gain by confiding in you any further than that. Nothing to gain? Damn it, Emily! I'm only trying to help you. Stop needing to gain something all the time. Because you think I need help. Just like everyone. You have your strengths and your weaknesses. And there's no use pretending otherwise. Ha! And I bet you found out where I'm weak, haven't you? 
technically, yes. Uh, maybe she'd trust you more if you weren't a uh, Frenchman that speaks with, the, with an American accent. Oof, difficulty five. Analyze her character. I mean, her weakness is psychology. Am I supposed to call out what her weakness is? We already know that it's a weakness of psychology, but what if I make that free real quick and then analyze her? Can I get it, find out even more about her? Pragmatic, intelligent, sure of herself. Her only weak spot is her difficulty talking about herself. I don't know much about your past, but I'm guessing you had to get by on your own for much of your life. It might have closed you off, and that can be a disadvantage. It might be time for you to open up and risk a little trust. Not every man you meet wants to hurt you. Hmm. Yes, you may be right. I might have some weaknesses, but I don't need your help to overcome them. And I'm simply not contemplating collaborating with anyone at this time. Do you understand? Oh uh, yeah, I'm sure locking her. <laughs> Questioning and conviction. I was hoping that in analyzing her was going to reveal more weaknesses. It did not. Frustratingly. That's fine, though. She prefers to work alone, has a partner, likes to lead investigations by herself, or takes orders from someone. Or I can press her or reassure her about her short-lived collaboration. And I can use one of these to find out. She's immune to questioning. Good to know. I don't see us as partners for life. You won't owe me anything, you know. It doesn't commit you to anything after all. All right, you've gone to a lot of trouble. You deserve an answer. I already have a work partner. I know my weaknesses. I don't doubt that your abilities will be of use to me, but I already have all that, thanks to my teammate. Is there any chance you might tell me who he is? Mm, no, I've already said too much. Consider yourself lucky I've even given you this much. It's extremely rare, believe me. Come on, don't stop now that you've come this far. You know that eventually I'll end up making you talk. Well, since no one can resist you, let's see if you can guess who my partner is. You're a gambler. So, your partner is... Etiquette has worked on her before. It's clearly not a block. Make it free. Your sister. She's your partner. She's the one you're looking for. Well, I am impressed. How the devil did you guess I had a sister? Virtually no one even knows. When it comes to getting results, you are very good. I grant you that. You deserve to know why the sight of the cameo pendant affected me so strongly. I thought it belonged to Emma, my twin sister. Oh. Now I get why you said you had a memory for two. I gotta check in real quick, cause so much stuff just happened. Okay. That was- that was already there. Swift, no. Intuitive? Is that what happened there? Two points. Gain two points of questioning. We got traits. Charismatic. Uh, determined, legitimate, trusting. These aren't sorted, so it's kinda hard to go through. Some kind of points- yeah, bonuses must have happened. But Emma Hillsborough was added to the list. Twin sister. Oh. <laughs> They're literally identical. Alright, well that was... Unexpected. Emma Hillsborough was the twin sister of the Emily Hill Hillsborough. Uh, living in the shadow of her sister, Emma shares the same identity with her in the eyes of the world. The two sisters linked their destiny in the most intimate way possible. Workplace, boyfriends, lovers. The two sisters shared everything together. The double identity was much appreciated by Charlotte D. Mecklenburg Strydlitz, the present Queen of England, when she asked the two sisters to serve the crown. With uh, but with time, Emma had increasingly greater difficulty with her role as a devil. It is thus ti it is thus tired of her role that Emma travels to the Mortimer Manor as diplomatic representative of, the, of England. So, <laughs> one of the characters in this game has a complete carbon copy double. Damn, that's interesting. 
Especially if they behave the same way, because that means you can get blindsided from moment to moment of which one is which. Because they might have completely different weaknesses and strengths than, than each other, which could really throw you for a loop if you run with the assumption that you're talking with Emily when you're not. Our one advantage seems to be that right now Emma seems to be missing, because that seems to be why Emily is here, I think. But one, but uh, presumably the, the, the presumably the game will take advantage of the fact that they're a double of each other for gameplay mechanic reasons. In which case, I guess Devil's Thorn would out to you for who is who. I wish I could tell for sure which traits I just got, but unfortunately the whole thing just ha uh, there's not really a mark on the new ones to show you. Then I just got something. You persuade Emily Hillsborough to reveal her secrets. One point in psychology. For being a, for being a confidant. There's been a few things happening here. That's fine. For now. Yes. You can't imagine to what extent, though. As children, everyone got us mixed up. So one day, we decided to play along. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Clever. But isn't it complicated? How do you make it work? One of us has no existence in the outside world. We share everything. First for one, then for the other. We dress the same, wear the same makeup, we speak the same. We've learned to act as one. When we accept a mission, we both turn up. This time, though, she went ahead and I was meant to wait for her on the mainland. She was meant to meet Sir Home and bring back the details so we could work out who would follow up. And there was a problem? She was supposed to return for Mortimer's one week ago. The boat turned up at Plymouth, but alas, no trace of my sister. Instead, a sailor passed me a message from home, notifying me of her sudden disappearance. So, my mother and your sister go missing just a few days apart. That's strange. Maybe their disappearances are linked. It's clearly a possibility, but up to now I haven't found a trace of either of them. None of this is very reassuring. By the way, Louis, now that you are in on the secret, you are obliged to keep it to yourself. Or you will pay very dearly. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. It's time to leave. No, I want to keep poking around for potential secrets. Oh. In a way, I was kind of stat grinding because I was using these various abilities. So, what do you think of our first adventure? I must admit, it has been fun by your side. Same here. I gotta take a look at that. Investigation. Seems they're essentially like achievements of sorts. You can equip one extra manuscript. You follow in your mother's tracks. <gasps> I can equip three manuscripts now, I believe. Because I already have the ability to equip one more from before. I can't do that now though, but I think I'll be able to equip three next chapter, which means I'll be getting a lot more points all of a sudden. I'm wondering if this screen is going to expand over time. Because I have almost all of them unlocked and this is just the first chunk of the game. I kind of thought that some of these might be representative of the entire game as a whole, but I think that might this might just be the first, cha uh, the first chapter or episode or whatever is worth. She's been drinking too much again. Louie, I need to talk to you right now. Good evening, Elizabeth. Actually, this is not a good time. I'm begging you, please don't leave me alone. I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. I was sure there was a certain je ne sais quoi between us. Louie, we need to talk now. Otherwise, it'll be too late. Looks like Elizabeth really needs me, but if I start talking to her, for sure Emily won't wait for me. What should I do? Between these two characters, I'm starting to think the women in this game don't have period accurate clothing. So go with Elizabeth, which I've kind of done before at the cost of other characters, or join Emily and just ignore this person that seems to be in desperate need. Sorry, Emily, but I can't leave Elizabeth like this. All right, Elizabeth. How can I help? Thank you. Come on, follow me. I really
really need to talk to you, Louis, right now. Does Lord Mortimer know the mess you've made of your room? Listen to me, damn it! My days are numbered. Elizabeth, I don't know if it's about my mother again, but I'm telling you, you've nothing to be afraid of. She didn't come here for you. I saw her. Saw who? You saw my mother? When? Just last night. I went out to walk along the cliff top and I saw her in the distance. She tried to hide right away, but I'm sure it was her. Are you saying you recognize my mother in the middle of the night while she was hiding? Yes, Louis, I know it was her. You just said she was far away, right? In the middle of the night. And the exterior of the island isn't exactly well lit. Listen, I'm telling you it was her. Oh, uh, shit. She doesn't hesitate on her answers. She's not trembling. She's really convinced of what she's seen. Did you talk to each other? No, she was far away. I I didn't make any noise, and then she was gone. Have you told anyone you've seen her? Sir Holm? Mortimer? You don't understand. It's her. She's here. Yes, I understand. No, you're not listening. The moment I saw her, I was overcome by spasms. She's here. I'm telling you, it was her. Yes, I need something to calm me down. I'll drink with you, but let's go easy on it, okay? Let's see how well I can pay for this mistake. We'll see. I don't know where she gets her rock cut from, but frankly, it's disgusting. Is it poisoned? You know, Louis, is it medicated? When I came here, it was in the hope of getting help. I've only just now realized that I've been drawn here into a trap. Whoa, the alcohol's gone to my head. Here, the condemned's last drink. Uh, it's already affecting me right now. Elizabeth, alcohol never solves anything. I'm gonna stop now. Listen up. You want to know what your mother was capable of, right? You want to know the reason why? Well, you're gonna have to follow me to the bottom of the abyss, Louie. Either drink or get out. Why? Why are you, damn it, I'm already committed to this. I better, like, I'm probably already missing Emily, right? So, shit. Man, I, I need to take it easy with the booze. At this rate, I won't last the night. Let's go easy on the drinking, okay? Alcohol won't solve our problems. Ugh, the second one isn't any easier. So, do you want to know why she did all those things to me or not? Even if it changes the image you have of her forever? What was she trying to cure you of then? Of the one illness she never managed to treat me for. Come on, Elizabeth. We have to finish what we started. Uh, I feel all dizzy. There must have been a reason. Just tell me. Tell me what my mother treated you for. She wanted to silence them. Wh what? What are you talking about? Silence what? The voices. The voices in my head. They speak to me, Louis. They've always told me what to do. They say nasty things to me. Elizabeth, do you realize what you're saying? Of course, Louis. This is what I live every day. But these spirits, Elizabeth, don't exist. You do realize that. These voices in your head, it's, it's you, in fact. Nobody is speaking to you. They want me. Want me just for themselves. They talk to me all the time. Yet your mother did everything to make them go away. Ever since I was little. And look at the result. It's impossible, mother. You spent your life trying to prove that the supernatural doesn't exist. Why punish this poor girl? Oh, shit. What has she done to you? Uh-oh, Louis. Are you starting to believe me? No, but she... Too bad it's all been for nothing. 
they're still there, you know. What do you mean? They're still talking to you? All the time. Despite everything Sarah put me through, I still hear them. And here I am on a lost island, knowing that no one knows me. And I find myself here at the exact same time as her. You see? You understand? You sense it too. I'm going to die here. I beg you, tell me you believe me. I'm here, Elizabeth. I'm right here with you. And I do believe you. Thank you, Louie. You know, despite what people might think, I'm not crazy. I'd say it's more like I believe that she believes my God, herself. Elizabeth, how's this possible? Welcome to my world, little Louie. Welcome to my life. Dun 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 Advise her to stay here, advise her to escape from the island. I feel unqualified for this choice. She's clearly not getting better here. So arguably you could, you could advise her to leave, but what's even going to happen to her if she tries to leave? Like how badly could that go for her? Although she's apparently not kept well taken care of if she was about to be like beaten and attacked by a house guest. Like no, it seems like no one's really taking care of her at all. And her room's a nightmare. She needs more help, but I don't know if she'd find help by leaving. I don't think either of these are good options, actually. It just seems to be a mess, but if all the stuff that's happened to her happened here, then it seems like this place is just a nightmare. And it seems that she's permanently isolated from her family. Elizabeth, the whole story stinks of death. If I were you, I'd have left the moment you heard me speak about my mother. I don't know if she knows you're here, but if I had any doubt, I wouldn't take the risk. Yeah, you're right. I can't stay here another minute. I need to get the hell out of here. I need to find a boat and get away. I'm not dying here. Oh, I feel so dizzy. You like my little concoction, don't you? That's rare. What? It no longer has any effect on me. But my guests generally don't appreciate me mixing alcohol with laudanum. What? You put laudanum in my drink? In both. Don't worry, my little Louie. We'll sink down to the bottom together. Oh man, I feel like puking. I really feel like shit. Uh, I gotta get back. Don't worry, Louie. I'm here now. I'll take good care of you, and then I'll leave. Don't touch me! Just leave. If I get up, I'll fall. <sighs> oh, little Louie's tired. Leave everything to me. That took a deeply uncomfortable turn. Uh... I had a few drinks with Elizabeth is listed as a failed condition? Wait! What? <laughs> Alright. There's a decent chance that telling her to leave the island is a mistake, because I'm feeding into her delusions. But also, it might be good for her to leave regardless, even if it's for the wrong reasons. But what just happened to me? I've resolved the enigmas of the Medusa. I discovered Lord Bodober's room, 
where he hides his treasure. I found out that Emily was hiding something. I persuaded Emily to tell me her secret. I accepted to keep Elizabeth company. I had a few drinks with Elizabeth. I could have joined out Emily in my room. Oh, oh, just that. Not bad, though. I'm going to be able to equip so many things. Science, linguistics, and erudition. That one's done. Etiquette. Nothing else doubles up, right? And nothing else. Nothing gives you two points or multiple points of different things. Science, linguistics, erudition. Four points to spend. I have a logic one, don't I? One point in logic. I could do point, two points in logic, two points in linguistics, then equip those other items to get plus one into linguistics and logic, which would then tech, which would then make them actually tip over into me having those skills. I think that's the way to go. Then all I'll have missing left is politics. Well, maybe politics is better than logic, perhaps. <laughs> Boy, is that a sentence you won't hear me say often. Let's do politics. Politics and linguistics. Oh, I didn't get to, oh, it's over. I didn't get to pick where to put where, which manuscripts to equip. Well, that's one way to set up a cliffhanger. So, this is the end of the council, episode one or chapter one. I keep losing track of how they're which one's called which in this thing. Uh, there's going to be multiple chunks of this game coming out, so we have to wait for the next piece to come out, and then we'll continue forward in the story. Thanks for watching, like always, guys. I'll see you next time. Ah, well that makes it nice and clear, what's left. So here's chapter one, and there's two, three, four, five. So there's five chunks total, this one was a prologue in four chapters. That lays it out for us.